talking about, uh, you know, right off the top, what this means to you, your players, the community, the whole thing. I'm not sure I, I can do it justice. I mean, the motion uh, on the field with so many people, obviously our team and what it means to them and us and our coaching staff, but our support staff. And then you go to the, you know, the university and the students and uh, faculty members, and then you have the alumni. And it's just unbelievable to feel that energy after the game. There's nothing like it. I mean, I, I can't say that, say that there is. So to be able to put it into words is very difficult. But being able to see everybody, our players, and the joy in their faces, and our uh, fans and alumni, it's a really special moment. What did you say that in the locker room after? Well, we talked last night uh, in our team meeting about some things about how hard it's probably going to be to win this game and the toughness and grip that it's going to take. And I think it's exactly how it went. And, you know, we talked about, you know, during the game, there's going to be moments where, you know, you got to fight through some pain and some fatigue and, you know, talking about that it's going to be worth it, you know. And so we decided after the game that it absolutely was worth it to fight through it. And, and uh, I just think everybody on the team and coaching staff and Everybody involved had a part in it, which is really special. When you guys are eligible, how important is that, or just kind of more when you're to I mean, you, they're both huge. I mean, they, they really are because uh, to be able to, to to get a win and get the axe back and what that means to the the players and in our institution, it's a big deal. I mean. I, it is, and then to get bowl eligible and have a chance to, to win a bowl game, and now we got to, you know, get ourselves in the best bowl game we possibly can. But it, it's it's huge for our program and uh, development of our program. There's just a lot of uh, there's there's a lot of things that uh, you know a bowl game means to a to a team, and so uh, you know to get them both at the same day, it's special. It was wild on the field after the game with axe floating around, your fans coming on. I'm wondering from your perspective how you remember all. The I think just the energy and the joy in people's faces. And that's really what I wanted to soak up, you know, and just looking at everybody, enjoy that moment. That's what, you know, I really, you know, I guess appreciate. And so seeing that and, and the people and the fans and old and young and, and our players and, and, and all those people, it's just, uh, that's a really special moment. Do you have a comparable moment in your, in your Oh, geez, uh, that's hard. I, I would have a hard time ranking them. It's up there. Coach, uh, can you talk about the performance today? Yeah, yeah, gutsy, tough. I mean, we uh, really on both sides of the ball today, it wasn't always clean, you know. It was kind of gritty, and we would kind of stub our toe from time to time. And I thought he and a number of guys, but he, uh, whether it was extending plays with his feet and getting tough yards, scrambling, it wasn't always on schedule. And, you know, to make so the throws that he made on the last drive and then the scramble for the touchdown, I mean, those are huge plays, and uh, I think people are going to be talking about that drive for a while. When was he cleared, and when did you decide you were going to start? So Wednesday he was able to practice, and he wasn't officially cleared until he was able to move through the protocol that they had. And so we uh, basically Thursday afternoon to Friday, we felt like as long as he could do stay on schedule that he would start the game. And it really wasn't, uh, you know, he had participated in most everything, just wasn't full contact. So. Yeah, th yeah th basically Thursday night we had walked through and got to Friday. So, but they both prepared really well, and I, you know, Devon Monster was in a, in a tough spot, and Devon did a, has done a nice job for us and has gotten better and better. And Chase just uh, has a little more experience and has played well uh, when he's been healthy uh, as of late. So. I mean, I, when you when we will go watch the tape, it's going to be the smallest of things. I mean, in the third quarter, we got some takeaways. And we had some chances for some other big plays. We kind of missed a sack, missed another opportunity for interception, then made a nice one. And then Jayhawk made an unbelievable play down there. And, you know, on offense, we couldn't quite get it going. And there was, you know, penalties set us back or a negative play. Uh, and then maybe we missed on something. And, and that's the way this game was going to go. And we kind of knew that going in, that the margins were going to be slim. but. Uh, the guys just stayed with it. And, you know, there's moments where it is a little frustrating. You want to get some more things going, but just kind of keep fighting and playing and scratching and clawing, and that's what they did. Yeah, awesome. Again, just tough. You know, he's playing through some things right now health-wise, like a lot of guys, but I uh, thought he just competed and uh, made huge catches. Uh, I'm, you know, by far his most 
uh, productive game since he's been here. And some of the coverages they were running, it kind of lent itself to, to getting him the ball in, in certain routes. So he, he did a great job. And also on some of the broken plays, you know, getting himself open and Chase locating him and getting him the ball. So. He's a guy who you had some high hopes for him, got, and he's kind of been up and down a little bit. But is this sort of what you envisioned he might be able to do for Yeah, him? and Nico's had some good moments. And, uh, you know, he's had to, to fight through some things that, you know, not season-ending type injuries, but just some nagging type injuries and so uh i think it just you know again shows that he's a tough kid and he's competing like crazy and he he brings it every day i mean the guy uh whether it's meetings practice you know what you're getting with nico and he kind of felt like there would, be, there would be a moment where something like this probably would happen just because of how he approaches his football life yeah yeah well val was not we, there's been a little bit of uh, some guys getting sick and so Val was under the weather and battling. Uh, There's a few guys, and you know, sometimes in the locker room, giving up their breakfast, and you know, so he was one of them. Uh, Weave, Weave was in the same boat, and those guys just played. You know, they were going to play, and you know, we, uh, doctors cleared them, and you know, th there's no way they were missing the game. But we had to spell them. Uh, I, w I don't know. I don't think there is anything. You'd probably have to be incapacitated. I mean, <laughs> there's just not an illness that's going to keep that guy from playing in any game, let alone this game. Could you talk a little bit about Chris Brown and uh, his, you know, how he did today and what, uh, how he did through it all, you know, physically? Yeah, uh, finished the game and ran hard, got some tough yards. They play a pretty heavy box uh, first and second down, so we knew we'd probably have to get some uh, tough yards, meaning you weren't always going to have great numbers in the run game, but we felt like to, to get our offense going, we would need to get some tough yards. And he broke tackles, had a couple big stiff arms. He doesn't go down very easy. And uh, he's a physical guy, and our offense, you know, he's out there. There's some, some runs that don't always look super clean, but you're getting positive yards because he's a tough guy to tackle. And you saw it again today. Who's had some trouble hanging on to the ball in recent games, but today they were well, we, you know, yeah, I think Tray Trayvon Clark jumps out and the play he made, you know, on the sideline, he had a massive, uh, it was a massive play uh, on that last drive because that's a tough catch. And Chase put it in a great spot, but he got his feet in and he controlled it all the way to the ground. And I'm, I'm uh, proud of him. And I thought, you know, Gavin Reinwald made a tough catch early in the game on a in breaking route. And it was great to see Gavin make that one. So. And just a lot of guys. I mean, we're going to go through the video, and we, it really kind of took everybody, you know. And that's kind of that's been us, you know. It's it's not like it's going to be a one man show uh, right now, and we're just going to it's going to take good foot, team football, and it's going to be gritty at times. So, coach, the bigger in this magnitude, what will tomorrow's in terms of what you know tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah. Um, well, the, well, the players are are off on Sunday, and so uh, usually we have that 24 hour rule to enjoy a victory or if we had a defeat that we move on and we talk to them in the locker room, they get 36. So they get to enjoy this one for 36. And then we'll uh, come back Monday and, and get going on UCLA because they're... How about you? Will you be golfing or fishing tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, you, I'll be in at about uh, 10 and we'll watch the video and grade it and then start working on UCLA. So maybe in the off season. That'll be a while. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, I don't know, whenever that is. So today at one game left, and I know yeah. you guys got this great start, but were you, were you, how do you feel about where you got one game left because it against UCLA, and were you kind of worried about what's kind of happened when it's, when it's the offseason? Uh, I'm not sure I understand. Well, kind of one minute. So how, how do you value where your team's at right now, given what's been happening? Well, we're going to go back and look at the this game, and uh, – you know, we'll coach them off the tape and make our corrections, and then we're going to start working on UCLA and all of our energy uh, for the coaches. It'll be tomorrow afternoon, and for the players, once we meet on, on Monday, uh, we'll do the corrections, and we're moving right to UCLA. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.